Hello, warlocks of all shapes and sizes. My name is Chance. Welcome to my spellbook, and thank you so much for tuning in to the 27th episode of our Eldritch Invocations series. Today, we're going to be taking a look at one we've actually mentioned on previous videos. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Mask of Many Faces. Uh, this is part of one of my all time favorite favorite game breaking combos in D&D 5e and I'll get to that a little bit later on but for now let's just take a look at the invocation in of itself let's start with the description first and foremost there are no prerequisites for this what that means is anyone of any level any feature any previous spell casting I can take this with no problems and it reads as followed you can cast Disguise Self at will without expending a spell slot. Uh, while this is super cool, it might be worth noting you still need an action to effectively cast this. So, you know, just bear that in mind before you get too carried away here. In any case, let's break it down a little bit in the overview. Essentially, you, you use illusions to change your appearance for an hour. Um, we've actually done a full video on Disguise Self, so I'm not going to get too, too into it, but uh, basically, um, as I mentioned, it lasts for an hour, uh, and it's strictly illusion, meaning if you make yourself a little bit taller, thinner, what have you, and someone bumps into you, they'll be able to tell that there's something not right. Um, in order to look through it, um, they have to be able, or in order to figure you are disguised, sorry, they have to pass an investigation check against your spell save DC, so pretty standard stuff there. Uh, let's get into the combo. So the combo is essentially a mask of many faces combined with the actor feet, combined with the friend's cantrip, combined with um, comprehend languages. All these put together make you essentially um, become someone else, if that makes sense. Um, it, it's super cool stuff. There's a couple class abilities that really help out, things like telepathy, for example. Um, but that's kind of the gist of it. Just, it, it's so compelling, so awesome to use. It's uh, game breaking for a lot of social games. In any case, uh, that's all I really have to say about Mask of Many Faces. If you have any alternative uses, any cool stories, any thoughts, questions, or opinion regarding it, uh, please put it down below in the comment section. I really enjoy reading them, and uh, you guys really help out the community. In any case, thank you so much for tuning in today. Have a great day, and as always, happy spellcasting.